Hey everybody, welcome back to The Pressing Matters. I'm Scott, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for your support. Today I'm gonna to be discussing 10 jazz records for people that are just getting into jazz. And I know because I've been through the journey already and uh, am, am still going through the journey. So these, were, these records were very important to me early on and ones that um, I had no trouble getting into. And this is something uh, I think will be of interest to anyone that's uh, thinking of dipping their toe into jazz. Uh, jazz aficionados will probably uh, not be interested in this. So this video is aimed more at new newcomers uh, to the jazz genre. But um, I have some obvious choices and not so obvious choices. So let's get started. Way before I even thought about getting into jazz, I bought this record and I bought it because well, some some different reasons, but I want to get Gilberto because of the hit single "Girl from Ipanema," and it probably started. It's probably my first jazz record ever, and it's a doozy. It's fantastic. This is the AP release. Um, I'm going to link all these below if they're available through Amazon, so you can help support the channel if you decide to get any of these, and that's much appreciated. But this one, um, once it hits, once the needle hits a groove, you're gonna say, oh, I know this record. You know the song, Girl from Ipanema. If you like that, you're gonna love the record. It's Brazilian, it's started the bossa nova craze. It's a famous record, it's fantastic sound, it's verve at their best, enough said. Um, the second one was another obvious choice. I got the obvious ones up front here. Miles Davis, Kind of Blue. If you're gonna get any Miles Davis album, and there's so many to choose from, this is where you wanna start. Uh, start with the best-selling jazz album of all time. Kind of Blue is easy to get into, wonderful sound from Columbia, just amazing for the vintage of this record. The sound will blow you away. Um, there's many versions available, many, many versions. I like the stereo version. This is the classic. I have the UHQR. The UHQR is highly recommended, but uh, anyway, get a copy of this. You will love it. Uh, the next one is my third most obvious choice, and that is Dave Rubeck's uh, Time Out. And this one introduced so many people to jazz and it's very very easy to get into just a beautiful record beautiful recording i remember you know my parents had this and they weren't really particularly into jazz but everybody had this in the 60s uh or late 50s early 60s i think it was this came out in late 50s but um just amazing amazing sound this is the ap45 there's many different versions available. That one is probably your best bet. Um, now we get to some less obvious choices. And these records made a significant impact on me and I took to them immediately. First one is the Blue Note Classic, Grant Green, Idle Moments. Fantastic guitar jazz album. Grant Green is the guitarist. Uh, he's joined by a wonderful um, lineup here and the sound is fantastic, and this is a great mellow listen. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Highly recommended. This is, if you're gonna get one Chet, I said Chet Atkins in the first, in the first take of this video, Chet Baker video, Chet Baker album. This is the one to get, I think, Chet from uh, Craft Recordings, beautiful record. It's available in many reissues, of course. I, I recommend the Craft if you can find it. If it's uh, still available through Amazon, I'll link it below, but um, this is a beautiful late night, mellow, gorgeous, lyrical album. Just beautiful, wonderful. He does not sing on that album, by the way. <laughs> Just plays, so. 
Um, another recent one that is super easy to get into is We Get Requests, the Oscar Peterson Trio. It's a piano trio. Um, I have a video on it. I'm going to link. Um, it is available uh, still, I believe, so I'll link for that below as well. Uh, this is from the AP uh, series, the, uh, I'm sorry, the Acoustic Sounds Verb Jazz series. Beautiful reissues, very well done. Stout and gatefolds, great sound, great pressings. And this music is extremely easy to get into, but very compelling. I wanted to include one vocal jazz record, and I knew it had to be Billie Holiday, because uh, I love her. And this was my first Billie Holiday Audiophile album, I think. Might have been, nah, I think it was this one. Songs for Distinct Gay Lovers, and uh, fantastic. This, is, this session is so classic and so beautiful, and she's, I love Billie's Verve years. I don't know what's available. I'm gonna check and see if there's anything available through Amazon, but this is a must have, absolutely. Um, this is kind of a sister record to Kind of Blue, Cannonball Adderley's something else. This is a Blue Note classic. I highly recommend this too, as easy to get into. If you like Kind of Blue, you will love this. It's almost like an extension of it. Beautiful, beautiful record. Fantastic sound. I like Late Night Listens, and this is the pinnacle of Late Night Listens, Midnight Blue. Kenny Burrell and Kenny is a uh, guitarist and he's joined by a great lineup on this and it's just beautiful mellow late night sound gorgeous gorgeous sound this is fantastic I was so glad they reissued this because previous editions were really hard to get and expensive highly recommended for a beginner another one that's great for a beginner and I think this is number 10 wow there's so many to go through, but this is number 10. Sunday at the Village Vanguard, Bill Evans Trio, uh, recorded live at the Village Vanguard. It's a piano trio. It's magic. It sounds great. And this is a must-have for anyone beginning their jazz collection. And it's super easy to get into. Lovely, lovely sound and a great experience. I'm going to include one bonus one. Uh, so that'll make 11. So kind of a... A baker's dozen of sorts. This one I got into much later um, at, when it came out. This is Bobby Hutcherson. He plays Vibes and this is called Oblique. And Oblique is a fabulous sounding record. It's a different kind of sound because of the addition of Vibes um, to the typical blue note sound. And I found it extremely easy to get into and really, really enjoy it. That's your bonus one. So those are 10 easy to get into, wonderful choices for someone just getting into jazz. I'll have links to Amazon for anything that's available through them. And I appreciate if you are thinking of getting any of these that you use the links below and help out the channel. But until next time, I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Thank you for tuning in and have a great day.